Monsieur. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm very good, Monsieur, and I am so excited because today you are going to teach me how to order numbers. Yes, I will. But before we start, can you tell me what all you remember from the last lesson? I remember that ordering means organizing or arranging. I also remember that ordering is of two types, ascending and descending. Yes, and do you remember what we mean by ascending and descending? Of course, you taught me a song that helps me remember it very well. So when we talk about going up, like in small to big, low to high, less to more, or young to old, that is ascending order. A ascending goes a up. When we are talking about going down, as in big to small, high to low, old to young, more to less, then it is called the descending order. The descending goes da down. Very good, Sam. So now we can come to ordering of numbers. And let's first talk about ascending order of numbers. When we arrange numbers in ascending order, then the smallest number has to come first, then the next bigger one, and the next bigger one, and the biggest number will be last. So, we are going from small to big, going up. A ascending goes a up. Yes! So, Sam, if I give you a few numbers and ask you to arrange them in ascending order, how would you do it? Well, I can use forward counting. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. How would you use forward counting? Well, in ascending order, the numbers are arranged in the order in which they occur while counting forward. So, I'll just count forward. Whichever number comes first, I will write that first and so on. Hmm, let me give you some numbers. 8, 5, 2 and 4. Can you arrange them in ascending order? Oh, absolutely. I will start counting. 1, 2, oh, 2 came first, so I'll write that first. 3, 4, next was 4, so i write that. 5, so I'll write that next. 6, 7, 8, so... 8 comes last. That's a good trick, Sam. But just think, if you have big numbers, then when forward counting is cumbersome, then you can actually use the trick we learned for comparing numbers. So, using place value to compare numbers? That's right. So, let's take an example. We have 63, 49 and 50. So, we will first write down the numbers one under the other according to place value. Then start with comparing digits in the biggest house. Now the biggest house having digits is the tens house. Four is the smallest. That means that the number 49 is the smallest number and we will write it first. Then we will compare the remaining two numbers. Five is smaller than six. So the number 50 is the smallest out of these two. Let's write that number. And now we are left with only one. And that number comes last. Oh, that is not so difficult. Can I try as well? Of course. Next we have four numbers. I will first write the numbers one under the other according to place value. Then I will start with comparing the Digits in the hundreds place because that is the biggest place having digits. And 2 is the smallest. So the number 243 is the smallest. I will write that down and then compare the remaining three numbers. Now checking the hundreds digits. Uh, 4 is the smallest. So this would mean 434 is the next smallest number so let us write it down now we compare the remaining numbers 
both have five in the hundreds place and i remember from the comparing numbers trick that if they have the same digit in the hundreds place then we have to compare the digits in the tens place now in tens place we have one and zero zero is the smallest so that means 501 is the next smallest which I'm writing down and now we are left with only one number well we can say that is the smallest 510 is that correct Ms. R? absolutely right I have four more numbers for you go ahead Sam and arrange them in ascending order sure so the numbers are being written one under the other and we'll start comparing the hundreds digits and two is the smallest so the number 243 is the smallest i'll write that down now we are left with three numbers all have three in hundreds place so all of them are smallest so we will compare their tens digits six is smaller than eight but there are two numbers having six so we will compare their ones digits Zero is smaller than two, so 360 is smallest, and I'll write it down. And now we are left with two numbers. Both have three in hundreds place, so we compare the tens, and six is smaller than eight. So 362 is the next smallest number, and we are left with only one, 381. And that comes last. Awesome, Sam. Thank you, Miss R. And now I'm ready to learn all about arranging numbers in descending order. Not today. We will learn about arranging numbers in descending order in the next class. Okay, Miss R. Thank you so much for teaching me. Please like, share, and subscribe.